Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Got a product video for you today. I want to tell you about the Spot Hog Fast Eddy PM Bow Sight. That PM, of course, refers to the Picatinny mount. So this sight, as it's configured, is going to be for use on any of those bows that allow for a Picatinny mount sight. Uh, Hoyt and PSEs, they both, I know, have that Picatinny rail on the front of the riser. Any other bows out there that allow for a Picatinny mounted sight, that's what this one is going to be used for. Um, so, and first off, this is the variety of Fast Eddy that has what they call a triple stack. You can see it's three pins stacked vertically, one on top of the other. So that's the configuration for this sight. Lots of cool features that come with this sight. So we'll start with the pins. First off, these are those Spot Hog bulletproof pins. You can see in there that these pins are bladed. So that means these things, as Spot Hog says, they're bulletproof. You're not going to be able to bend these. So, you know, you get a stick or something that goes inside your scope housing here. Don't worry about it. It's not going to bend those pins. But what I wanted to tell you about is each one of these pins is individually adjustable vertically. You know, of course, uh, windage, you're going to adjust them all together. But with, a, with vertical pins like this, um, once we get to the sight wheel, I'll tell you how these pins work in conjunction with that. But when you can individually adjust each one of these pins for elevation, then you can get it to match what you're doing on your sight tape over there. Um, so that's cool. Otherwise, you know, when you have fixed pins vertically, you have to just shoot and figure out where that sight is on your sight tape. So it's better if you can set it to what you want to set it at. So what I'll show you is on the bottom here, you're going to see these three holes. Each one of these, you're going to turn clockwise and counterclockwise, and you're going to get those pins to rise and fall. So I'll start here. This front one is for the, uh, the bottom pin. And you can watch here as I turn clockwise, you can see that pin moving down. There, I got to the end. So now I'll turn it counterclockwise and you can see that pin rising up towards that second pin. So that's how they're adjustable and each one does the same thing. Clockwise makes them go down, counterclockwise makes them go up. Now in sticking with the pins, why that's important is, you know, you're going to you're going to put a sight tape on your elevation wheel over here which that's, you know, this is one of the great things about the three pin is you kind of get the best of both the fixed pin and the adjustable pin world. So you can, you know, move this up and down to get those pins on exact yardages. In other words, you're not gap shooting uh, if you don't want to. You know, you know, it's not just 20, 30, 40. You can adjust this wheel up or down to get exact distances. If you want to shoot 33 yards, you can adjust a pin to 33 yards. But let's say I want my three pins to be at 20, 30, and 40 yards. I've got these three indicators over here. You know, my sight tape is going to mount on this part of the wheel, and then I've got my three indicators, and these are adjustable. So, as I said, between moving the pins up and down and adjusting here, I can get those pins set for exactly 20, 30, and 40 yards. Then anytime I adjust this up or down, I know I'm going to know exactly what distance each pin is on because my sight tape, you know, the sight tape has to do with the speed of your bow. So if I've got an indicator, you know, on that middle pin, 30 yards, if I adjust this, I can see exactly what distance that one's at. I can see exactly what distance all three of those pins are set at. So that's a great feature from Spot Hog to allow you to really be able to know exactly what those three pins are doing for you. Uh, and included in the pack, you will get this set of 36 sight tapes. Pretty much there's going to be one in there that's going to work for your bow. 
you're going to go through the calculation of, you know, setting it up, shooting that top pin, trying to find your 20, then figuring out where you want those other two pins. And then you're just going to pick a sight tape, mount it on here, adjust your indicators and get everything lined up that way. You do get 36 sight tapes with the sight. Now for the rest of it, you also with each sight, you're going to get the three sight rings. So whatever you like your sight picture to be, you know, this is going to be the biggest one. That's probably the next size. And then you got your smallest here. You can see those side by side. Whatever you like to see through your peep sight, you can line that all up, pick whichever one you want. They just screw on and off pretty easily. So for with this sight, you will be able to adjust the second axis, which is going to be this screw here and this one here. What's cool is they even give you a locking screw on top. So once you get that sight leveled, you can lock. So your second axis is not going to move. Second axis, of course, adjusts your scope this way. That's your second axis. And then you're also going to have your third axis adjustments right here and right here. And what that does is that adjusts the sight this way. Now, one of the real cool things about this sight is you're going to notice this bar across here with this bolt. So if I'm going somewhere and I'm putting my bow in a bow case and the sight just doesn't fit in there and I need to take it off, I can. I can remove it right there. And then you can see there are two pins. So they are on this bar right here. They go into these two pins. What that means is I can take my sight, the scope off, and put it back on and not have to level everything again. My second and third axis are separate from this mount right here. So I can remove that if I want to. I can put on a different scope, whatever you want to do. Uh, but just by loose, by removing this screw, I can remove that assembly uh, simply and get it back right to where I want it. Now you do have this is for adjustments, you know, when you're sighting in, this is going to be your locking knob for your windage. And then your windage is right here. Just going to turn that dial that's moving the scope left and right. And then under here, this is going to be your locking mechanism for the big dial. I loosen that and then of course I can move up and down that way. Moving that up and down once I get it to where I want it. Just lock it and then that does not move. The pins as we were talking about them, you know, Spot Hog is known for having these super bright pins. You can see all that fiber wrapping around there for those three pins. This is protected. That is a plastic case there. The fiber is inside of that, so it can gather the light, but it's protected from any damage. So you're not going to break those, that fiber in there. You break that and then that kills your light transmission. So you do get lots of fiber and it is protected so that's going to make those pins glow all right so that is the spot hog fast eddy picatinny mounted sight you know this is going to be a great bow hunting sight that's primarily what it's intended for but it'll also be a good one for uh, 3d you know if you're going to those tack events total archery challenge great sight for that because i guarantee you with those three pins you're going to be able to get out to 100 yards with most common bow setups, you know, if you're 60 pounds and above, you're probably going to be able to shoot out to 100 yards uh, with this triple stack setup here. If you want to see this product on the website, be sure and click the link in the description below. If you like this video, give us thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com. <laughs>